I'm going to just talk, walk through the scales a little bit, and uh, then we'll try to play a jam track to get a little, little feel, a little groove going, right? So the G major scale, right? Open fourth string is G. Yours might sound like that. Okay, no matter what. Right? So we got G, A, second fret, B, fourth fret. So G, G, A, B, C, open D, E, open second fret, F sharp, G, open first string, second fret, B, C. That's the whole first position. And descending. Okay. Second position. Second fret. Fourth string. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Descending. Third position, go up to the fourth fret, right? Index finger is going to be on the fourth fret. B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, B, C, D, E. I think of these fingers. One, two, four, one, three, four. And then I shift up one, three, four, one, three. Three, one, four, three, one. Shift back. Four, three, one, four, two, one. Okay, that's the third position. Fourth position, I'm going to start up here on the, well, I'm actually starting on the sixth fret, but my middle finger is going to be on the seventh. Right? So we're going to go D, E, and then back to this third string, F sharp, G, A, and then we're going to shift up a half a step to the seventh fret, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. If I could make it sound. Okay, and this last, I got a fifth position here. It's kind of weird up at this high because it sounds so like Jiminy Cricket. But so we're going to start on the ninth fret. So we've got fingers up from the ninth fret up. One, three, four. So it's E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, and then D, E, F sharp. G, A. It's hard to get a clean sound up there all the time. I guess you need little fingers, which I don't have. So that's the G major scale. The E minor pentatonic, right? Five notes, pentatonic, right? E, G, A, B, and D, right? So, but we're going to start on the fourth string open, which again is a G. G, second fret A, fourth fret B. Open second, third string, rather. Second fret, D. Open second string. Uh, third fret, second string. This is a G, O, E, G. And then A and B. So we got G, A, B, C, oh, 
Oops, don't need a C. Forget about the C. G, 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 A, B, G, A, B, B, D, E, G, A, B. That's the first position. Second position. I always find the first position there weird. Second position. I'm starting on the second fret. So I've got A, B, D, E. And then the second string, I'm using my middle finger. G, A, and then B and D. So second fret, fifth fret. Okay, third position, starting on the fourth fret. I'm going to use fingers one and four and two and four. So I got B, D, E, G, A, B, D, E. Seventh fret, next position. This is my favorite. This is the one I use all the time. It's the one that we kind of learned in the blues. That we used an A minor up in the first position. Same, same pattern. And the patterns are what's important here. So 7th fret. 7, 9, 7, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 10, 7, 10. So the notes are D, E, G, A, B, D, E, G. And then the next position, starting on the ninth fret. So we go 9, 12. Second string, we've got D on the tenth fret, E on the twelfth, and on the first string, we've got G and A. So now we'll noodle a little bit. Get my band going. And I'm just going to combine all the scales at random, find some nice little notes to slide back and forth. to have a note. An experiment with creating some little hammer-on and pull-offs or slides. 